Hi there, wedding enthusiasts. Welcome to Wedding News. On the news today, Harry Song's estranged wife warns his new girlfriend off. Ghanaian socialite Shata Bando welcomes his second child. Rick Ross confirms relationship with Justice Williams amid social media buzz. Now stick around for all the scoop. Welcome back, lovebred singer Harry Song's estranged wife, Alexa Perez, has issued a stern warning to his new girlfriend, accusing her of frequently stalking her social media page. The mother of two took to her Instagram stories to express frustration over the alleged behavior. In a recent post, Alexa hinted that the new girlfriend has been regularly checking her page, implying that there may be some tension brewing between the two. Without holding back, Alexa taunted the new girlfriend, making it clear that she is no longer interested in Harry Song's and has moved on from their relationship. She called on to her followers to help address the situation, humorously adding that she isn't holding anything significant from her past and has let go of the singer. Though Harry Songz himself has yet to respond to the allegations, the post has since sparked reactions from fans and followers, some of who expressed surprise at the unfolding drama while others simply found the situation entertaining. It remains to be seen if the singer's new girlfriend will respond or who she is, but then one thing is clear, Alexa Perez is done with the relationship and ready to move on without the added drama of social media stalking. Nigerian entrepreneur Doris Nkuma, popularly known as Miss Waneka, recently took to social media to shower praises on her husband, Mustafa, for his unwavering dedication as both a partner and a father. In a heartfelt post, she shared a photo of Mustafa multitasking, holding their sleeping daughter Zaha on his chest while working simultaneously. She fondly noted how Zaha only falls asleep on her dad, highlighting the special bond between them. In another clip, Doris captured a late-night moment showing Mustafa working on their son, Sergei's school preparation, at 1 a.m. She expressed her gratitude for how her husband stepped in when she had forgotten about the project entirely. It's how Sergei went to bed trusting Daddy M to fix it because it was already late, she wrote. I completely didn't even remember I had a son named Sergei. Talk more of him having a project to deliver until I came down and saw her be working on it in the middle of the night. Overflowing with admiration, Miss Wanaka gushed. I married the best guy on earth and the best dad to our kids. God definitely did me right with this sweet man. Oh yes, I'm obsessed, even more obsessed with his nose. Until you experience an intentional man who treats you how you've never been treated before, you'll think I'm doing a little too much. In another post, Doris continued to celebrate her husband, describing him as the crown upon her head and the most intelligent AI researcher. She joked about how much he loves being called Wanaka's husband and marveled at his thoughtfulness, stating, he loves me like his life depends on it. Mustafa's grand gestures didn't stop there. Ms. Wanaka shared her excitement after receiving 500 roses from him, struggling to carry the massive bouquet alongside their kids and thanked him for always doing too much. With her heartfelt post, it's clear that Doris treasures the love and intentionality her husband brings to their family life. We love to see it. Ghanaian socialite and self-proclaimed billionaire Shata Bando has taken his fans by surprise once again as reports confirmed he has welcomed another child. This news comes just a year after he made the headlines for welcoming his first child. Shata Bando, whose real name is Fidaos Idrisu, shared the joyous moments on Instagram, posting heartwarming photos that immediately captured the attention of his followers. In one touching image, the proud father can be seen cradling his newborn in the hospital's maternity ward with a wide smile of pride and joy on his face. Another photo shows the baby peacefully sleeping, leaving his fans in awe. Fans were quick to flood his post with congratulations as Shatabando kept his announcement, simple but celebratory. Captioning the post, congratulations to myself, expressing his happiness over the exciting new chapter in his life. Shatabando, who married his first baby mama in a low-key ceremony in September 2022, seems to be embracing fatherhood with excitement. His fans, known for their love and admiration of his unique personality, were thrilled to hear about the new addition to his growing family. While the specifics around his new baby remains private, Shatabando continues to keep his followers entertained with regular updates on his life. Well, congratulations to Shatabando and his family. Well, stay tuned. Wedding News will be right back. Welcome back. Lady Bishop Kathy Kiyuna reflects on 30 years of love with late Alan Kiyuna. Three months after the heartbreaking loss of her husband, the late Bishop Alan Kiyuna of Jubilee Christian Church, Lady Bishop has paid a moving tribute to him in an emotional post. On October 17th, Kathy shared a series of touching videos on Instagram reflecting on the beautiful life they shared during their 30 years together. 
Now, Bishop Allen, who was laid to rest on July 17th, left an indelible mark on her heart. And Cathy, who was appointed Bishop of the Church shortly after his burial, opened up about the deep gratitude for the time they spent together. My throwback is just amazing. Today, I'm just grateful to God for giving me 30 years with the best soul that ever lived. She began her post, recalling the many qualities that made Alan not just a husband, but also a remarkable man of God. So absolutely loving, selfless, generous, kind, humble, peaceful, leader, visionary, bold, hard worker, driven, knowledgeable, full of wisdom, fun, fun, fun. This list is endless. In her tribute, Kathy expressed her admiration for Alan's leadership, work ethic, and the joy he brought into their lives. She reflected on their strong bond, built through love, faith, and shared ministry. And even in her grief, Kathy remained grounded in her faith, thanking God for the life they built together and reaffirming her trust in his divine will. Even as I miss him terribly, I'm still grateful to God because he can do no wrong, she added. During Alan's funeral at JCC Paradise in July, Kathy delivered an emotional tribute, vowing to continue the work they began together. Honey, you raised me well. I did not even know I could preach, but you saw it, honey, and you said, you can do this. You called it out, and I have been doing that with you, urging me every step of the way, she said at the time. Now, Kathy's heartfelt tribute continues to resonate with many as she honors the legacy of her late husband while courageously stepping into her new role as bishop. The ongoing feud between reality TV star Safari Samuels and Erica Mena seems far from over. Recently, the drama took a new turn when Safari posted a video on YouTube airing out grievances with his ex-wife Erica and made her claims that he has been neglecting their children and avoiding paying child support. Now, Erica, in turn, has had a lot to say about Safari's actions. In the video titled The Truth About Being a Deadbeat, My Truth Revealed, Safari shared footage from previous incidents between the two. One clip shows Erica shoving him while their kids were present and another features her banging on a glass door. Now, Safari claimed he was on the phone with the police during these moments and explained that he's fed up with staying quiet about their ongoing issues. I love my kids and it's gotten to the point that I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse, he said, accusing Erica of having anger management problems. Now, Safari also revealed that he once considered filing a restraining order against Erica after an incident when she allegedly climbed his fence using a ladder. However, he decided against it after attending their son's birthday party, raising doubts about the necessity of the restraining order. Now, in another bombshell, Safari claimed Erica had sent explicit photos of him to his mother and his sister in an attempt to prove that they were still involved, which he denies. He defended himself against accusations of being a deadbeat father, sharing details about a summer camp he enrolled their kids in, which according to him, Erica opposed. Now, they went to camp for three days because she didn't want them to go, he said, explained that he paid $2,000 for the camp and showed the activity schedule and a gift his daughter made for him. He also gave you as a tour of his home, showcasing pictures of himself and the kids and highlighting his daughter's decorated room. It's all about control. I know real deadbeats and this isn't that, he added. But the drama didn't end there. Erica took to Instagram shortly after the YouTube video dropped, firing back at Safari with her own claims. She stated that Safari had been trying to get back into her life and reconcile with her, despite portraying her as the problem in his video. If you're trying to make a video painting me as the issue, why not talk about how you've been trying to get your family back, she wrote. She also accused Safari of orchestrating the YouTube video as part of a plan to blackmail her, claiming he stayed silent during the disputes in order to use the footage against her. Now, Erica further accused Safari of neglecting their children and stated that he had failed to show up to their daughter's birthday party and arrived at their son's party empty-handed. She even shared an alleged calendar showing that Safari had only spent 16 days with their children all through 2024. Now, the back and forth between Safari and Erica continues to unfold, with both sides presenting their narratives to the public eye. The former couple who starred in Love & Hip Hop have clashed publicly over the years, and it seems their issues are far from resolved. We'll bring you the updates as the story continues to unfold. Rapper Rick Ross has officially confirmed his relationship with Justice Williams, marking the first public acknowledgement of their romance on October 13th. Now, Ross shared a sweet moment with his new girlfriend on his Instagram story, posting a picture of the two enjoying a romantic boat ride together. The relationship has since been the subject of much attention on social media, with fans eager to know more about the pair. Justice Williams has also been sharing glimpses of their time together on her own Instagram, including a video that has caught many's eyes. In the clip, Williams shows off a stunning diamond necklace gifted to her by none other than Ross himself, affectionately known as Rosé. And as expected, their relationship has sparked a lot of chatter online. 
Some social media users have voiced skepticism about how long the relationship will last. A few have even claimed it will make it past three months, advising justice to enjoy it while it lasts. Well, despite the naysayers, the couple seems unbothered and very much in love. In a recent viral video, Williams humorously mimicked Rick Ross in an impression that left them both laughing uncontrollably. The couple appeared all loved up in the video, sharing laughs and stealing kisses, clearly unfazed by the outside noise. Ross and Justice seem to be enjoying each other's company, choosing to focus on their relationship while dismissing the negative comments surrounding them. Well, for now, the couple is happily sharing moments of their blossoming romance with the world, and fans will just have to wait and see where it goes next. Well, that brings us to the end of wedding news today.